Hi. I was tagged by lone woodpecker about my thoughts about prepping. Now that gives me a chance to test my swamp kitchen and to be out in this great weather for a while. Uh, we don't have so many swamps around here so I try to find a some kind of wet area. I try to lift this one. Excellent repellent from mosquitoes. The smoke of them. I will actually try to do some popcorn.
doesn't need to be a worst case scenario until you appreciate to have some food and water supply at home. It can be um, a brownout for a day or two or the water doesn't come. So until you appreciate you have something already at home. Some candles, a wind-up radio, a wind-up uh, flashlight uh, to ride out uh, a brownout. If you do have to leave your home, uh, you have already saved time uh, if you have all the things already at home. You don't have to fight with other people to get the last things in the, in the stores, last food supplies and water supplies. You don't have to fight with them. You have saved time. And um, whoops. If you already have everything sort of prepared, you have gained a lot of time before the roads are crowded up and you are ahead of time for most of people that when they think, oh, what shall I do, you're already on your way. So it is a security and uh, you gain a lot of time if you already have everything. Your camping equipment can be used for boiling water all also at home. Cook food on, food on it.
solved. You do have to leave your home. It's good to have some dirt town time and know how to to be in the woods, cook food in the woods, have a great time in the woods. It really helps. If everything around you is totally new, it's good to have something you are good in and to rely on. If you had to learn bushcrafting and camping in the same time as everything is new, that will be tough. So, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. I'm not tagging anyone in this, um, but if you feel for um, to reply on this, feel free to do it. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.